Mr. Chairman, it's interesting that we're having this dialogue because this dialogue actually started after 1780 when they first sent the Constitution out. So I would like to share you some of the dialogue. It's called the Federalist Papers, designed to convince people to ratify the Constitution of the United States. So let me share what James Madison in his debate to the people of the United States said. And the paragraph labeled, and, the, and Federalist number 44, the alleged dangers from the powers of the union to state governments. Thus, each of the principal branches of the federal government will owe its existence more or less to the favor of the state governments and must constantly feel a dependence which is much more likely to beget a disposition of obsequious to the overbearing towards the states. The powers delegated by the proposed constitution to the federal government are few and defined. Those are which to remain with the state governments are numerous and indefinite. The powers reserved to the several states will extend to all objects which in the ordinary course of affairs concern the lives, the liberties, the properties of the people, and the internal order, improvements, and prosperity of the state. That's what they said we were supposed to have in a constitution and what it was supposed to do. Does anybody recognize that today? But you see, there was this provision in the constitution that they foresaw at some time in the future that we might have a federal government that just goes off a little course. So they created this little thing called Article 5. Article 5 was designed specifically to address the issues when the federal government gets out of control. Madison articulated what the role of the federal government was and what the state's government and it does not recognize anything like that today. That, Mr. Chairman, is why the founders gave us Article 5. We should use the Constitution. We should use the Constitution for the very purpose that the founders gave it to us, on and for the bill. I'm here live in Philadelphia at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. When you hear the phrase, lives, fortunes, and sacred honor, these are the folks we should think of, those who anonymously gave their lives. Well, today you have a chance to volunteer. You need to volunteer for conventionofstates.com, the movement that's going to save the country. These folks are willing to step up and give everything. We need you to give just a little bit. Go to conventionofstates.com and volunteer today.